where is Israel? Well, we say now it's in Western Asia, it's in the Middle East. Problem is, of course, um, Asia used to be originally the Roman province of Asia, A-S-I-A. Uh, it just referred to what is now a, a small piece of Western Turkey. Asia Minor encompassed the rest of Turkey, of course. Um, it had nothing to do with uh, any place outside of what is now Turkey. But now the term has, for some bizarre reason, uh, come to encompass from Siberia to Sri Lanka, that whole area, uh, the entire land mass uh, from the Suez Canal to the um, western, or sorry, easternmost tip of Siberia, right across from Alaska. Uh, the whole thing's kind of silly, but the problem is, of course, we now say that um, Israel is part of the Middle East. Well, the problem is, the Middle East has moved. We used to refer to what is now referred to as the Middle East as the Near East. Well, why did we do that? Well, because it was the East. It was East of Europe. Uh, there was the Near East, which encompasses the entire area which we now call the Middle East. Then there was the Middle East, which now um, is referred to as the Indian subcontinent, i.e. Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. And then there was the Far East, which was the area that was inhabited by pretty much everybody uh, who looked uh, what we now call Asian or Oriental. Funny how that term Asian has now come to mean people with, um, I don't know what you'd call them, Oriental eyes. Orient is the Spanish word for East. Uh, Asia has nothing to do originally with what we now call Asians. It was originally in Turkey, but it's moved. <laughs> um, it gets really weird with certain places. Somebody mentioned Albania being part of the Balkans. Well, the problem is Albania was originally in the Caucasus. Um, if you look at a map of the late Roman Empire, uh, the eastern section, um, Albania, the Roman, um, the territory the Romans called Albania, where the Albans lived, um, is where Chechnya is now. Um, it's moved about, I don't know, 500 miles to the west and is now nestled uh, in between um, Greece and uh, and uh, Serbia, Macedonia, or sorry, Serbia and uh, Montenegro, which isn't Montenegro, it's Srnagora. Uh, <laughs> and um, right next to the original um, Albania in the Caucasus, in what is now Chechnya, south of Russia, used to be Iberia, Iberia, spelled exactly the same as the peninsula, which now contains Spain and Portugal, 750 miles to the west. It too has apparently moved. <laughs> um, the number of instances in which this happened is pretty bizarre. The original Mauritania is now um, what is now northern uh, Algeria and northern Morocco. Um, it's now moved about 200 miles south of there, and these places are now called, well, Algeria and um, Maghreb, but, but that's Morocco. Well, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. Well, okay. <laughs> See what I'm getting at here? Um, and also, the distinction between Europe and Asia is kind of insane anyway, because they're the same landmass. They only looked originally different, because in order to get from what was Europe, the inhabited part of Europe, which was the um, northern Mediterranean coastline uh, to the Roman province of Asia, Asia, you had to cross the Bosphorus. You had to cross from one, it looked like one landmass to another because you went uh, into the um, uh, extreme uh, western part, sorry, eastern part of, uh, of uh, Thrace, which is now um, extreme western Turkey. You had to cross the Bosphorus into then into Asia. So there, there was a clear dividing line between the two. People were vaguely aware that there was this gigantic landmass to the north inhabited by blonde-haired barbarians, but they didn't really include that in Europe or Asia. It was some unrelated place to the extreme north. Um, well, it's kind of difficult to ignore all that because uh, <laughs> it's pretty darn large on a map. 
So even Europe and Asia, it, it's crazy. It's the same landmass. They use this artificial barrier, the Volga, or sorry, the um, the uh, um, Ural Mountains, to say that this is a difference between two continents. No, it isn't. It's the same landmass. Um, you could say that North America is two separate land masses, separated by the Rockies, if you wanted. It's all completely arbitrary. Um, as for Africa, well, Africa used to re originally refer to what is now called Tunisia. Uh, just one little Roman province that was called Africa. Well, Af what is now Africa refers to places that it was never was meant to refer to, all the way down to South Africa, the Cape of Good Hope. Well, if you anyone who was aware of the Roman province of Africa, and if yeah, they were also vaguely aware of the Sahara Desert, if someone had said that uh, Africa, which was a fairly well-known province of the Roman Empire, and a rich one, an, an important one, if they'd said that that goes down another thousand miles to the south, they would have shaken their heads and said, you're out of your brain. Uh, that's impossible. It's absurd. Well, it's not too absurd to us anymore. Um, getting a little bit more arcane, but relevant even to this day, is the question of Macedonia. Macedonia keeps moving all over the place. It's um, uh, moved from um, um, what is now um, the southern part of the present day, uh, former Yugos Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and what is now northern Greece, perhaps with a couple of pieces of Serbia in there, um, or even Albania. Um, and then it expanded to include all of Greece and all of Western Turkey, or if you wanted to say the Macedonian Kingdom at one point stretched from Greece all the way to Pakistan, that was Alexander's Empire. It shrunk and then it got bigger, then it shrunk and it, it moved all over the place. Under the Byzantine Empire, what was Macedonia um, was nowhere near the original Macedonian Kingdom of Alexander. It was now in uh, uh, what is now Turkey and southern Bulgaria. Now this might sound all pedantic and everything. When you think about the fact that we're still quarreling about what Israel's borders are, violently, we're still um, getting into um, nasty uh, things like what pieces of land should belong to Albania. Um, these are not silly arguments, but when you look at them, there's, they're what we decide they are. People make enormous assumptions, and they're, they make up their minds long before they get into these things. Say Macedonia, which is one of the more extreme versions of this tendency. Take the, take the issue of Macedonia. Greece, the modern Hellenic Republic, and the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, now colloquially, colloquially referred to as Macedonia, um, are often at loggerheads and shouting at each other in their respective media um, over who should have the title of real Macedonia. Why, why do they get into that? Well, it goes back to the original Macedonian kingdom. The Greeks want Alexander to have been a Greek, or they want the Macedonians to be considered Greeks, and the people of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, you know, modern Macedonia, want to claim, his, claim him as their own. The phenomenon of Balkan nationalism gets that heated. Um, I think that we all should take a very close look at these ideas of where the devil everything is. Um, the biggest fight these days is where is Israel and where is Palestine and what should the borders be? Well, if you go back a hundred years, neither of them even existed. Think about that. Thank you.